The Pentagon is calling it a historic day for the nation and the military. The day they began letting gay troops serve openly. We are a stronger joint force, a more tolerant joint force, a force of more character and more honor. And a force where troops no longer have to lie about who they are. No words can describe how it feels to stand up here and be able to say for the first time, my name is First Lieutenant Josh Seafried, and I am a gay First Lieutenant in the United States Air Force. At a bar in San Diego, they counted down to the exact moment. It's official. Don't ask, don't tell. It's dead. It was a tearjerker. It was. Because you just remember the struggles. The Pentagon says ending Don't Ask, Don't Tell after 18 years is just one step. I'm committed to removing all of the barriers that would prevent Americans from serving their country. The guidance for troops is simple. Gay service members will be treated like any others. By other gay and lesbian troops showing their faces, it, it proves the fact that there's not an issue. We weren't scared and no one, no one's going to go back and, and hurt us when we go back to our units. It's going to be business as usual. The military says there will be zero tolerance of any harassment. Sagar Magani, Associated Press, The Pentagon.